this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to talk about Simpson's rules. Simpson's rules are used to find out the areas if we are given the linear ordinates and also to find out the position of centroid with respect to x or y axis. In case the areas are given as ordinates, we can use the Simpson's rules to find out the volumes also. So we will basically understand about the Simpson's rules by doing relevant numerical. Rule number one. It is also called 1, 4, 1, H by 3 rule. Same way, rule number 2 is called 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, H by 8 rule. And rule number 3 which is called 5, 8, minus 1, H by 12 rule. Rule number 1 can be used when the number of segments are even. Rule number 2 can be used when number of segments are divisible by 3. Rule number 3 can be used when there are 3 ordinates and we have to find out the area under the first and second ordinate or the second and third ordinate. Now once again we will try to understand when can we use the rule. These are the equidistant segments. I see number of segments 4. Number of segments are 4 means number of ordinates are 5. Right? So number of segment is equal to number of ordinate minus 1 and number of segment is even then we can use rule number 1. Rule number 2 can be used when the number of segments are divisible by 3. So number of ordinates are 4, number of segments are 3. So once again, if the number of segments are divisible by 3, we can use rule number 2. And rule number 3 is when total number of ordinates are 3 and either we want to find out this area or we want to find out this area. We can find out the areas in case the ordinates are uh, linear lines and we can also find out the volume if the uh, ordinates which are given are the area. Suppose we are given a tank like this on one side of the center line and we are given the areas of water plane at different levels, equidistant levels then with the help of these areas at different levels I can find out the volume of a tank. Right? Same way if there is a tank like this and if the areas at the three levels are given I am able to find out what is the volume of water in this particular section using the third rule. Okay, Now half breadths of the water plane from aft to forward at a uniform interval of 3 meters are 2, 6, 9, 8, 5, 3 and 0. Right? You have to find out the water plane area and also the LCF. Right? When uh, the half breadths are given for a water plane area, we should list them always from aft to forward that helps you to get the LCF directly. The ordinates I will like to write it as y. Okay. Now 2, 6, 9, 8, 5, 3, 0. Simpsons multiplier could be 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, Four, one. Actually, the Simpsons multiplier, if we just consider this part, would be 1, 4, 1. And if we just consider this part, it would be again 1, 4, 1. And if we consider this part, it would be once again 1, 4, 1. So if you want to write down the multipliers together and uh, do the computation uh, in one go, then we have to write the multiplier as 1, 4, 2, 4, 2. For one. So this is what I have written here as Simpson's multiplier. Now I like to write the third column as y dx 
right? There is a third column, and the product is 2, 12, 18, 32, 10, 12, 0. The fourth column is the lever. Lever is the distance of an ordinate from the first ordinate. The first ordinate is 2. What is the distance of 2 from 2? 0. What is the distance of the uh, ordinate 6 from 2? That is h. What is the distance of ordinate 9 from the first ordinate? It is 2h. Then this distance is 3h. This distance is 4h. And that is how I write it on the table. The lever is the distance from the first ordinate. So value of x for the first ordinate would be 0, then h, then 2h, then 3h, then 4h, 5h, and 6h. The last column will be yx dx, okay, that is column number 5. So column number 5 is the product of column number 3 and 4. So 0, 12h, 36h, 96h, 40h, 60h, and 0. So when I total it up, it becomes... Uh, 244h. Now total of this is 86. This I, I would like to call as sum1 and this I would like to call as sum2. So this is how uh, the tabulation is done in case of uh, uh, Simpson's rules. What I am trying to demonstrate is the rule number one. Rule number one is used to find out when number of equidistant segments are divisible by 2. So you can see there are 6 segments. It is divisible by 2. That means it is even in number, number of segments. So I can use rule number 1. But rule number 1 is called 141 one rule. So uh, if I put 141 here and again 141 here and again 141 here becomes 1424241. So that is what I have done in the tabulation. Now I will show you how I find out the water plane area and how I find out the position of centroid of the water plane area that is center of flotation from the aft perpendicular. Okay, now the area enclosed is given by h by 3 into sum 1. So this will be the area of half water plane area. If I want complete water plane area, I will multiply by 2. So the value of h as I said is 3 meters. So 3 upon 3 into sum 1. Sum 1 is 86, right? Multiplied by 2. That will give you 3 gets cancelled. Hundred and seventy-two meter square is the water plane area. If somebody says what is the TPC? TPC is a water plane area into 1.025 divided by 100. So that is 172 into 1.025 equal to divide by 100 that gives me uh, 1.763 so that is the TPC now if I want to find out what is the distance of the center of rotation from the aft perpendicular so that will be moment of area about aft perpendicular divided by area itself. Now moment of area of this half water plane about the half perpendicular would be h by 3 into sum 2 and the area is half half area is h by 3 into sum 1. So what happens is this gets cancelled. In effect we can write sum 2 upon sum 1. So that is 244 into 3 divided by 86. 244 into 3 equal to divide by 86 gives me 8.512 meters. 8.512 meters is the position of center of flotation <coughs> from the aft perpendicular. So somewhere here is the position of center of flotation. So this was application of rule number one to find out the water plane area and also the position of center of flotation with respect to the first ordinate.
that was the ordinate uh, at half perpendicular. So we are able to find out the LCF as 8.512.